Dr. Denton, what was your motivation for writing Evolution, a Theory in Crisis? Very simply, I think the current Darwinian picture is insufficient. I don't think it gives a credible and comprehensive explanation of how the pattern of life on Earth emerged. And um, I think that it's a perfectly normal and ordinary response that when you think something isn't right, you attempt to refute that, that body of doctrine or whatever it is. I mean, it was basically because I felt that the theory was incomplete and didn't give a good explanation of, of uh, all biological phenomena that I was motivated to write the book. Why should students be exposed to problems in evolutionary theory? Well, I think any theory, which is uh, where there are problems, uh, one should be exposed to the one should be exposed to these problems. I mean, theory shouldn't be taught as um, absolutes uh, like theological doctrines. Uh, where, where there are problems, people should be exposed to them, uh, and particularly when theories are very important, such as the theory of evolution is. Um, this is a very important theory, which. Uh, um, permeates a lot of our thinking now in the Western world, in the modern West. And if there are problems with um, the current Darwinian worldview, then I think that these should be discussed. And uh, I think there are very serious problems. What have been the major objections to your book, Evolution, A Theory in Crisis? Most of the objections have been um, uh, vague and philosophical. I mean, of the many reviews that I've read very carefully and that I've looked for specific objections, um, I don't find many specific objections. I mean, most of the objections are that, in fact, uh, this guy's a creationist or uh, he doesn't believe in Darwinism. Uh, he's uh, he's um, sort of uh, outside of the mainstream of biology uh, and so forth. They're not the, the problems that I have with evolutionary biology, particularly the Darwinian model of evolution, and the ones that I describe in the book, I mean, most of those specific problems, and some of them, of course, which have been aired by many authors over the last century, they w are not really addressed. The attack is mainly um, of a philosophical and un non-specific type of nature. Does Darwinian theory adequately explain the pervasive patterns of natural history? Well, the basic pattern it fails to explain is the, or the apparent um, uniqueness and isolation of the major types of organism. Um, my fundamental problem with the theory, I have a number, but perhaps my, my major one is that, in fact, there are so many highly complicated organs, systems, and structures from the, the nature of the, the lung of a bird uh, the nature of the, the eye of the rock, rock, rock lobster, and one can mention many, many cases like this, where there are structures, systems, adaptive phenomena in nature of such a nature, such, such exquisite complexity, um, watch-like systems, if you want, for which I, can, I cannot conceive how these things could have come about in terms of a gradual accumulation of random changes. I mean, it strikes me as being a flagrant sort of a denial of common sense to swallow that all these sorts of things were built up by these, by cumulative small random changes. I think that in fact something, uh, some, something within me, you know, m my judgment is that in terms of deep common sense, this is simply a nonsensical claim. And especially when, for the, in the great majority of cases, most of the complex adaptations, nobody can think of any credible explanation of how they came about. And this is a very profound question, which everybody skirts, everybody brushes over, everybody tries to sweep under the carpets. The fact is that the majority of these complex adaptations in nature cannot be adequately explained by, by a, that, their, 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 that their emergence occurred by a series of intermediate forms. Um, and this is, in fact, something which, in fact, as far as I'm concerned, this is a fundamental problem. And uh, the fact that there are so many of these things for me, okay, there's something wrong with the theory. Common sense tells me there must be something wrong. 